We're gonna show you guys our favorite pizza we've been having lately. Kelly loves it. Over pizza rock? Over pizza rock. Over Pizza Rock, and that's a big statement. Except for the meatballs. Pizza Rock has great meatballs. Oh, Pizza Rock does have great meatballs. But these guys, I think they got them top by the garlic knots. That's one thing they do got going for them. These garlic knots are fire, guys. So we're going to head in. We're going to show you guys what they got. And enjoy, guys. If you guys are here at the plaza, definitely come and check this place out. It's really worth checking out. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's do it. So we are at Pop-Up Pizza, and as promised, we told you guys we would be doing some live food reviews. And let me just say, this place is one of our favorites. It's inside the plaza. We come here pretty often, and we really like the food. From the garlic knots to the pizza, the owner is Mike. Mike's a really cool dude. Kelly, how cool is the guy? Super stand up. The first time I met him, it was like I had known him for years. I mean, he just kicked back, tells you his life story, and it's a very interesting one as well. But I mean, great food, great people, and that's what it's all about. And so he's got a specialty pizza he does, guys. It's got honey, jalapeno, it's got spicy, sweet, it's really good. Yeah, it's a pepperoni based pizza and then he puts his twist on it. Really, really good. And that's what we're going to show you guys is some of the stuff he does. The garlic knots, fire. I mean, fire. We love them. Kelly came and got some for lunch while she was gambling yesterday. So, again, I'm going to show you guys the owner. We're going to have him tell you guys how and why he does things the way he does things. The guy's just a stand-up dude. If you're having problems hearing us, I'm sorry. There's music in the background. But for the most part, I want to show you guys who Mike is, what he represents, and how he carries himself. The guy's a stand-up guy. I've told you guys on the podcast plenty of times about what he does, how he how he approaches, you know, customer service, and the food itself is just fire. So the guy lines up. I mean, the guy lines everything up. He's, he's perfect for customer service. He's perfect for food, the food industry. He just knows his stuff. He's opened plenty of pizza uh, restaurants all around. And you know, this is his baby now inside the plaza. So let's go check out and talk to Mike and get a little feedback about his history, how he got into the kind of, uh, in the business, and just his background. Again, you guys are gonna be very impressed. Enjoy, guys. In the back's the old school okay. cheese. They got the garlic knots up here. That's what we really enjoy is the garlic knots. It's crispy pepperoni back as well this is his hot honey this is the one we're gonna be trying this is the one with the jalapeno the honey on top that's the thick crushed version and then they also have creamy onion spinach and mushroom in the back also the vegan so you vegans are taking care of you and looking out for you as well Alrighty, this is the first part guys we got the fried pickles the garlic knots Mike's special pizza, which we'll have him talk about right now. You got the original cheese, the pepperoni, and what looks like we got a deep dish pepperoni here as well. This awesome. is the man behind the magic. This is Mike. This is the owner here at Pop-Up right. Pizza. And we've told you guys plenty of times about him. We've had him on the show, on the podcast. And Mike, can you give us a little background about yourself, how you got into the industry, pizza itself? Located at the plaza, 
Plaza, right on the casino floor. And it's been a wonderful journey. It's been open over eight years. Uh, it's been a beautiful thing. We've been able to experience many varieties of pizza. So we're one of the one of the very few here in town where look at the place. We don't have one style of pizza, we have New York style. Um, right. We have grandma style, which is a thin and crispy style pizza that's not quite as thick as Sicilian, it's a little bit thinner. Okay. And then you have a Detroit style pizza right here where you see the edges of that crust, you get that Parmesan cheese, kind of crispy edge cheese, which is sort of unique. Right. So out of one oven, we're doing, you know, three different styles of pizza every day. Um, or some days we're doing five styles on special. So we try to stay relevant in the yeah. pizza business. We try to stay on the cutting edge of what's going on. Right. So you'll come back here four or five times. You may have different specials every time. You may see different styles of pizza. And that's a way for us to have fun and also right. for our customers to have the best quality experience. So let's talk about your special pizza you currently got going. Because Kelly, she loves it. It's it's her favorite. Right. Blue. And I have a simple palette. Right. When I tried that one, I fell in love. I really did. I was like, wow, I feel all these flavors in my mouth. And I'm like a pepperoni girl. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about the specials. The ones in the center here. Yeah, so, um, so going back, we were gonna introduce a white pizza and I got a lot of people telling me that, you know, white pizza isn't as flavorful. It's mm -hmm. not as good as pizza with sauce on it. Right. It's a little dry. Okay. So there's not as much going on. So I really took that to heart and I wanted to create a white slice that yeah. was as good as any red slice out there not even potentially better. Okay. So we start off with a base of creamy onion and garlic sauce. Uh, it's a product that we make in house, it's our own recipe. And we start that as a layer. That's intended to provide a lot of flavor right away, along with the moist, uh, crispy style pizza that isn't just dry. Right. right. And then we uh, put our, our shredded mozzarella, so we buy, we buy blocks of mozzarella, and they come in fresh from Wisconsin. Yeah. One of the best dairy farmers in the country. Uh, they're a broad name cheese company. So they're an amazing partner for us. Good right. friends. Um, and we put their product on there. We can't shred it in the morning, so you guys are getting fresh quality stuff. Every day. Every single day. Right. Um, and then we put pickled, pep uh, pickled uh, jalapenos mm -hmm. along with a pepperoni from, uh, it's called a Rosa Grande pepperoni. And what it does is it chars and it comes up and you get a little jacuzzi of oil in there. Right. So people, especially in Vegas, when they're drinking and having a good time, <laughs> this is a great comfort slice that will kind of help you feel better the next morning. Uh, so, so this is one of the highest selling pizzas, but um, we top it so that way there's a little bit of spice, a little bit of that crispy heat, and you know, yeah. a little bit of that fat on the pepperoni that tastes really good with the cheese and the sauce. And then when it comes out of the oven, we drizzle it with a little bit of spicy honey. And that just counteracts everything that's going on between the fattiness and the saltiness and then the pickled pepper, the pickled the jalapeno. And it kind of cuts through it all. Yeah. And gives you just a very different and unique experience that I don't think you can find anywhere. Yeah. Uh, so for that reason, I know you wanted to bring that, that on to the show. Yeah. Uh, it is a unique slice. It's definitely different. And I think it's a one of a kind experience that you won't be able to get here. Brother, we appreciate your hospitality always is number one, but I mean, when it came to restaurants, I told Kelly, hey, what's the number one spot we're gonna interview first? Because I mean, it's just, it's who you are. It's, it's how you carry yourself, man, and we appreciate it. And we're gonna dig in right now and give people the honest review of, you know, what you produce. And we, I mean, we've praised it so many times, but here on the YouTube channel, we wanted to be one of the first to showcase pop-up. and. And focus on pop up because you're doing an amazing job here, man. I mean, seriously, keep up the great work, brother. Come ask for me on Mike. Uh, you know, I like to personally take care of people and you guys, and, and you guys are an extension of our of our family. So that's how we want the person to come in here. And feel like yeah. They're taken care of and they're at home. Uh, oh. So you're not just a number. You're you're, you're, you're a person. You're right. Being that we want to really provide the greatest experience. For you. So, Again, brother can't say enough kind things about you we appreciate you and all your work 
We're gonna show the people and tell the people what it is, why we enjoy this stuff so much, and what a great job you guys are doing. And again, guys, if you guys are in the area, come and check out Papa Pizza. Come say hi to Mike, down the earth type of guy, just the type of people that we like promoting here on the podcast. Again, Mike, thank you, man. All right, Kelly, go ahead and try Mike's special pizza. This is the one with the honey and the jalapenos, the pepperoni. As great as you remember. So <laughs> hot, but it's sweet. Yeah. And it's cheesy, crispy. And like he said, not as thick as the original thick crust that he does, the Detroit style. The thing that's nice is like, besides like all these flavors exploding in my mouth, which is amazing. Oh, you're turning me and on. This is honest, like it's amazing. But if you get to know them, it's made with love. It really is. You know, I mean, that like makes it a thousand percent better. When Mike was giving his interview, I'm like, oh, I, I, yeah. mean, I love it even more because he, he cares. really puts a lot, of, cares. a lot of thought into mm -hmm. all these things that he makes. And it's all for you guys, you know? But this is amazing. This is going to be the fried kickers, baby. Fried kickers ranch. Okay. Kelly, you got to try it. I know you don't like it. You got to try it. Remember, simple palate. Can I tell you something? This is why I like to occupy myself gambling. I just sit here and eat this stuff. It's over. It's over. I'm gonna gain like 300 pounds. This shit is so good. It's so good. So good. She says that now. We'll see when I gain 300 pounds, Mike.